This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. You're listening to the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring attorney, guest, and former felony prosecutor Eric Fadis. A complete investigation should have had a lot done differently than what it's been, what actually occurred here in the trial of uh, Karen Reed and the uh, death investigation into John O'Keefe. With all that being said, um, how do you think this is all playing to the jury right now? Uh, All the language that we heard from Proctor and the inconsistencies uh, that, that we're seeing on that side too. Is this, is this playing to their narrative of, of a, uh, of a cover up of, uh, of that someone else killed John O'Keefe and drug him out to the end of the road? Or is it, how do you think it's playing? Yeah, you know, I think the jury really wasn't expecting um, such colorful language mm-hmm. uh, from a police officer regarding, uh, you know, a suspect in a, in a death case like this. Uh, I think they were kind of taken aback by it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's naturally going to give them a lens through which they view the rest of the evidence in this case. And it may cause them to return back to some other evidence that uh, perhaps they thought was sound at the time. But now they're thinking, gosh, are these police officers really on the up and up? Um, you know, is this investigation so compromised that we cannot brand Karen Reed with the scarlet letter of a conviction. I think we're getting closer to, to jurors being at that acquittal stage. Yeah. I mean, I I'm really starting to wonder that. I mean, these do seem to be like pretty shitty police officers, the way that, that they're operating. Uh, but at the same point, does it mean that Karen Reed didn't hit him? I mean, it, you take all that off. I mean, yes, bad behavior. Yes. It seems like somebody's trying to tip the scales this way, but does it mean that someone else in fact, plowed into John O'Keefe uh, or is it just them still trying to uh, protect the blue, if you will? Yeah, I mean, th- th- there would certainly be an inferential leap that, that some may be hesitant to make where we have these officers who are engaging in misconduct. But does that mean, mean that, that that Karen Reed did not kill John O'Keefe? Not necessarily. But but like you said, Tony, I think they've overcharged this. Yeah. And, and perhaps this was just some horrible accident, some horrible mistake uh, and not an intentional killing. And if so, the government has further botched their case. Uh, they, they really have. Let's look at another clip here. This is uh, Proctor uh, in some more text messages, pretty much flat out saying, you know, the homeowner, uh, he's a cop too. Nothing's going to happen to him. This is very early on in it. We'll skip to page 2529. You also inform these same folks, these same high school buddies that, quote, all the powers that be want answers ASAP, correct? Yes. You knew, Trooper Proctor, that there was brass that wanted this case wrapped up quickly and efficient. Isn't that right? Jackson. Oh, well, that, is that what you were thinking? No, the uh, people wanted answers, sir. They wanted it. An- they didn't just want answers. They wanted answers ASAP. What does ASAP mean? Uh, that's as soon as possible. Right. And you were at, uh, you were texting this to your high school friends again, 16 hours into this investigation, right? Correct. And you knew at that time, you knew at that time, Trooper Proctor, that this was not going to implicate in any way, shape, form or fashion another cop. Correct. Correct. In this text exchange, let's turn to 2532, actually. You have that in front of you? I do. In this text exchange at 1056 PM, your buddy Bird (laughs) writes, I'm sure the owners of the house will receive some shit, correct? Correct. How did you take that to mean? Did Did you take that to mean that he could get in trouble? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what my my friend was getting at. Um, well, you had some idea. Yeah, I maybe said the owners I'd, of the house isn't going to get any shit for this, I, right? That's how I interpreted it. Yeah, you interpreted it like he's not going to get in any trouble. He's not going to be a suspect, correct? C- correct. And he's not going to be implicated in any way. Is that right? Correct. And your answer was one word, correct? Yes. What was that word? Nope. And then you followed that up with an explanation as to why you said no. Nope. Didn't you? That wasn't the explanation why I said nope. I simply said homeowner's a Boston cop too, meaning Mr. O'Keefe was a Boston cop. The homeowner was a Boston cop as well. 
The question that preceded your answer, nope, the homeowners of Boston Cop 2 was the homeowners going to get some shit for this, correct? That's not what I meant with that text. <clears throat> That's what you wrote. Not what, I, not what I meant, sir. All right, let's take it in order. Question. Oh, goodness, the Boston Cop, I'm sorry, the homeowners going to get some shit for this. Answer, nope. Next text. He's a Boston cop, too. That doesn't sound like an explanation for your nope. No, that's just saying he's a Boston cop as well, Mr. O'Keefe. And is a Boston that's why cop. he's not going to get any shit. Correct, Trooper Proctor? Well, he's not going to receive any shit, sir, because he had Mr. Albert, the homeowner, had nothing to do with Mr. O'Keefe's death. And you knew this 16 hours into your investigation. Yes. Less than a day. Yes. To your satisfaction. To my satisfaction and, you and to the members of my the unit. Crime scene. So, so let him let him finish. We didn't get the finish to your my, answer. To my satisfaction and to all the members of my unit who investigated the that day. Now it looks like, you know, protecting the blue, but does he have a point though too? I mean the homeowner was not there at the time. It did appear that you know John O'Keefe was hit by a vehicle. Um no reason to think that necessarily the homeowners are involved, but you're talking about 16 hours into the investigation. Not a lot has been done yet. Um, what's your reaction to all of that? Yeah, to me, Tony, uh, look, the investigation is supposed to be a search for the truth, mm -hmm. a search to, to determine what happened. And the way that this plays to me is more like, um, hey, we, we've reached this conclusion that none of our police bodies were involved. And so we're going to kind of orchestrate this approach that protects those folks and, and sort of pins all of this on somebody else. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what happened, but that's how it reads to me. And that's how it might read to a jury. Yeah. I mean, is it pinning it on somebody else or is it just we're going to take no responsibility over here. So the only person who logically could have done this was Karen Reed. I, yeah. I, and, and, and I don't know, the more we see, I mean, we got the Sally port video that's missing 45 minutes. There's a lot that's just gone. And, and, and I don't know. My, my theory has been for a while. It's just, you know, maybe they are tipping the scales a little bit, but is it because Karen didn't do it or they're just really trying to get her, uh, you know, to to clearly be the one, but in turn, in, in turn, they ended up making themselves look like complete buffoons. Uh, I don't know. There's just too yeah, much. No, I know. I mean, just you know, 16 hours in is is oftentimes not enough time to to reach a solid conclusion and to yeah. rule out. Out. Uh, it seems like this officer had already gotten to that place. Is that because the other folks involved were officers and he wanted to protect them? That, that's sort of the inference that, that comes to mind. Yeah, it's uh, it's bizarre, and uh, it's only going to continue on as more experts uh, take the stand. And of course, we'll uh, we'll be commenting on that very soon. Sick of the ads? We are too. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.